Hi, this is Cece. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how I've used a card that I'd originally made for another purpose and wasn't happy with it. And I'm turning it into an 8.5 by 11 scrapbook page and then uh, turning into a 12 by 12 page. Um, this cute picture is of Jen's little boy William who's such a darling. And I thought the train set in the picture totally matched the card that I made. The card was stamped, by the way, with the Choo Choo stamp set from the mini catalog, which is available until June 30th. And it's a really cute stamp set. And the rail at the bottom is actually a wheel, the matching wheel. So I'm going to be adding a little embellishment to the train. Um, I'm using a gift image from the Darling Dots stamp set, which is a level one hostess stamp set. Again, is available until the end of June and I'm going to be adding some glitter to it. Um, the image is stamped in bashful blue by the way. And um, I'm using, sorry I'm a bit out of focus, I'm still <laughs> getting used to recording videos. Um, the pen I'm using right now is a quickie glue pen by Sakura. Usually I use my two-way glue pen, which we have in the Stampin' Up! catalog, but for finer details I like this pen a lot. Um, it's almost like a, it's, it's great for details. And uh, you can find it in every scrapbooking stores and rubber stamping store. <clears throat> so now I'm going to be adding the glitter. This glitter is the orange from the Fine Supernova uh, line in the catalog. So I'm just dumping the glitter and shaking it off. And I usually store my glitter in stamping emboss powder in big plastic containers but I don't use the colored ones all that much so I'm keeping those in the small jars I'm just putting back the glitter into the little jar so now I'm starting to add my elements the background for my eight and a half by eleven page is uh, cardstock and bashful blue and I'm leaving um, I'm just stacking up the elements um, from bottom to top I guess and the large space that I just showed is uh, I've left it larger so I can do a bit of journaling there and that strip of paper is going to go over or on top of the picture rather and the corners the right hand corner is rounded off as well as that piece there on the side and by the way that paper that I'm using I apologize it ran out before I finished filming the video uh, it was the Washington Apple, which is on the retired list, but you can find um, there are other papers still available that, which are just as equally nice. Um, but I just happened to have to use this one because of the card I made previously. So, so now I'm just gluing the pieces down finishing off my page and if you notice this strip I'm not going to be adding a snail all the way to the top because I'm going to be cutting it after I actually glue it down. I do this sometimes when I want the exact um, fit to a page or a card um, so and because it's eight and a half by 11 and the strip is 12 inches I'm not going to be wasting a lot so I'm just going to trim it off. I turn the paper over and I trim it off and it's it makes for the most perfect fit and I love it. So now I'm going to be adding some embellishments and I decided circles to match the Christmas balls in the picture. And I believe I've used the one inch punch and the one and a quarter punch. And now I'm just going to be adding some journaling with uh, chocolate chip stamping right uh, the journal or I'm sorry no it, it is the stamping right sorry um, and you can see I also added uh, the gift with a stampin dimensional as well as the circle on the left hand side the big the bigger circle is popped with a stamping dimensional as well so there's my finished um, eight and a half by eleven page and now I'm going to be working in my 12 by 12 and before I do that I decided to round the corners um, on my eight and a half by eleven, because I thought there were too much square edges, and that bothers me sometimes. So I'm just rounding the corners. 
and I'm going to be gluing the whole page <clears throat> excuse me over my whisper white 12 by 12 <laughs> things in the way sorry about that <laughs> And I'm going to be leaving a border um, on a small border on the left hand side as well as top and bottom equal borders and on the right hand side is a larger white space which I'm going to be using to add the title and the title will be uh, done a combination of um, letters that I've punched with the Sizzix uh, Big Shot machine which you see there, the choo choo is um, was cut with the Goku Boots um, dies, uh, um, alphabet die. And so I've glued that down, and right now I'm just adding the hand write, handwritten portion of my title. Um, I pre wrote it with pencil, which I'm going to be erasing later on. Uh, it's great when you're not sure how to go about it or if you want your title exactly where you want it you can write it with a pencil and go over with a stamp and write marker and then erasing it after it dried <clears throat> and now I'm just adding buttons these are so saffron which matches the uh, DSP paper, paper that I've used with adding adding it with mini glue dots. matches the um pattern paper exactly. Now before I glue this red one down I'm going to cut a piece of linen thread oh. put a glue dot here And there's my 12 by 12, all finished. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.